So at the top here, we have logic. That's pretty easy, hey, logic. It's a design of mental ease mixed with doubt. The ease comes because they have a pattern. They have a recognition, projected channel. They have an awareness, a mental awareness, of where the pattern has been. You cannot see it here, and I explained it in my ABCs, but just a refresher reminder, the 64 is actually before completion. Before completion, yet it is 64. We know the number 64 comes after 63. So that gives you a hint. After the completion of the experience that we have, we are going to set up a pattern for what we expect from the future. Okay, so that's why the, the 63 is called after completion. So, so it's, it's a word, phrases that are showing you the connection between 64 and 63. So these are the people who can take the past experience and create the pattern. They have a mental ease about what they see happening, but it's also doubtful. There's a never ending question there, a doubt about the, the pattern being safe, secure, healthy and being able to move into the future successfully. So they're the ones that are here to ponder and bring up the question and pose the question to others. Okay, there's Rihanna. She says, That's so true, I have that. Yes, you're very, very much, when you're logical, you can identify or recognize these. Now, further along this flow, we have acceptance. Why is it acceptance? Because we have to in order to organize things, we have to accept the pattern and go with the flow of things. In order to organize, we see the pattern as far as where it should go. We can see the little details. We have an opinion about how things need to be labeled. Labeled. Remember, this 17 is a gate that gives us the ability to transform light into sound is this channel. So this, these are transformative gates, the 62, the 23, and the 56. We have to have that awareness to express the opinion. We have to have the details, the logic, and the labels to back it up with the facts in order to have that acceptance be successful out in the world. Now down here, judgment, 5818. We have people whose whole job description is here to be judgmental because they're insatiably here, adrenalized pressure that they want to correct the pattern. They recognize what needs to be challenged, that 18. Who needs to be challenged? How do we stand up and defend basic and fundamental human rights? We have to challenge the authorities insatiably. If we lived in a perfect world, these people would not have a job to do. So it's needed that we have our judgmental people, that we have our critical people. Yes, we, it's needed. It's perfect. You have your place in the whole. So you are the one, if you have this channel, that is designed to insatiably correct and align the patterns of life. Now, further along that stream, we have the wavelength that begins with the depth of solutions and expresses skillfully with enthusiasm a design of talent. Here on, on the wavelength, this is the, not just the potential awareness of what needs to be corrected and perfected. No, this is the possible expression of that awareness. So that also, all of this is about the future. And here we can see one, two, three, four of those channels not connected to energy, unless the um, center itself has a connection, an indirect connection, no direct connection to energy with these, okay, all of these up here. So they have to be recognized and invited in order, and the, whatever that person's authority is, that authority has to agree. So recognition, invitation, and the authority's agreement in order to lead successfully, in order to have talent, in order to have acceptance, in order to have logic and being able to be aware. Now let's go down here to the format channel, that thing that is formatting the entire sub-circuit into patterns. We have the channel of concentration, a design of determination, which is focused energy. It's grounded because that 52, remember, keeping still mountain, the hexagram is mountain over mountain. 
where we have the ability to sit still and concentrate when we have a focus when we have a response that nine taming power of the small the ability to focus on the little tiny details and not to overlook them okay so this is what is creating the whole circuitry's thematic its frequency of focusing future facing on the details so that we can ensure a healthful collective humanity as we move forward because here is the love of humanity the channel 515 is a design of rhythm or channel of rhythm a design of being in the flow when people talk about flow you hear it in business all the time oh being in flow when you lose track of time and everything seems to move magically perfectly forward towards the future this is the channel of rhythm that is the largest channel largest auric frequency of all the channels that we have that in the 59.6 it pulls everything around it into their flow so if you've ever if you're a 5 or a 15 if you've ever been in aura with a 515 you know what that's like where you get pulled sucked into their trip whatever it is that they're doing that's what that channel of rhythm is about that channel that is um, central and within all living beings, the 515 is within all living beings. Okay, so then further up through here, we have the channel of the alpha. For good or bad, a design of leadership. The seven bringing us the ability to lead, to have in groups the uh, planning. And then the, the 31, which has influence and the ability to administrate that leadership into the future so we've given you an overview of the understanding circuit to big picture view big picture view to help you understand it and here in this logic circuit that which we take again from that experiential way we refine into an understanding which brings us to the movement of evolution this is what the spleen is for to create new evolutionary possibilities. That movement from the sensing circuit to the logic circuit brings up the questions about if we, ha we can, if we have what it takes to move forward from the experience. Can we refine that experience, take it forward, and move through to a, a safer, more healthier, more vibrant future in our evolutionary process? So that's the image I want you to remember when you're looking at the body graph, that there is a relationship there. Okay. Now in the understanding circuit, this logical circuitry, it's the most important circuitry that we have in the form. It's our unifying thread among all life forms on this planet. There is one thing all forms of life have in common. That's that 515, a design of being in the flow if there was a heart center here, which there's not, but if we could find the heart of the understanding logical circuitry, this would be where it is. That's where the mm, beat, not beat as an in individual, that channel over here, but the rhythm and the pattern and the timing. If you look at our societies, we all have timing. It's based on the flow of the seasons. This is where we have logic, pattern, and um, extremes of rhythms. Our rituals, our routines, our culture is built here. And human design is a logical system, as you know. It demands that the rules of logic be fulfilled. The reason why human design is a transferable knowledge is because it has rules and patterns and things that you can remember so that you can repeat those patterns. The power to repeat those, the memory is stored here in the five. So as the understanding circuit is logical, the foundation of that logic is that you experiment with formulas in order to get to the detail. And that's what our world right now is really built on because we're in a first line global conditioning theme. That first line theme is about getting to the detail. And that detail helps us influence the collective so that they can feel secure in the future. So that's why we have all of this research going into, okay, what are the patterns? Can we investigate? How is this COVID-19 showing up as an example? Where's the, um, the actual data? Where's the research? The deepest dilemma, as I mentioned for the understanding circuit, 
It's starved for energy. It's the only circuit group with no gates in the throat that have no direct connection to a motor, right? Logic has three voices in the throat center. None of those gates have direct access to manifestation because there's no energy there directly. So what happens is it's difficult for people who are logical to experiment, to actually put that plan into action, yet it's very easy for them to talk and to, like I said, argue. This is the basis of the great debating and even at times arguing that you find in logical people. They will talk, 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 talk. But does it really come into fruition to the flowering of a form? Not always. And this might be something that helps you understand why. Why am I always able to talk about stuff? Yeah, but nobody leads me or leads me. Nobody follows me when I try to lead them. Why is it I can have, I have this beautiful talent and yet I don't have money. You know, I don't have the form yet. I don't have the perfection of the organizational skills yet that make me money. Why is that? The mind goes into why, what's wrong with me? And yet the cold, hard, dry logic is there. You can see that there's no emotions. There's no ego. So it's useful for those who are constantly experimenting in order to look for a new outcome. You're not invested in the outcome emotionally. You're not wanting to try and prove. It allows you to persevere through that whole experimental, experimenting process, experimentational process, regardless of the obstacles that you meet. And when there's no solar plexus, it means we can find truth in the now because there is a validity of the pattern. How do we know there's a validity in the pattern? Hi, success. Hi, satisfaction. Let me see what the chat is saying up here. Yes, you recognize this deeply. You're ready to go, go, go all the time, having both sides and the 35. Yeah, I hear you. So recognizing it is one of the first steps to acceptance. And acceptance and awareness is the whole point of human design. In the understanding circuit, finding the right formula is a really repetitive task. You keep at it, you keep at it, you find the right outcome, but when you're done, you're done. No more perspective is needed. You found the pattern, you found the answer, and boom, you're done. Logic is in fact the true collective circuit because without the collective effort and cooperation of people, there's no way in which logic can properly manifest. So it takes more streams of awareness, more people in order to bring that collective awareness, that pattern, into manifestation. Remember, logic is what keeps us comfortable with what's to come, the future. It gives us a sense of security about the future as we move forward. Have you found yourself researching, looking into the news at all? I don't normally keep up with the news, period. But in this time and space of our experience with everything that's going on, I have. And doesn't it make you feel better when you read things that make that, that put a, a positive light on things? Oh, we're flattening the curve. Phew, that feels better. And why are they saying that? Because we have all of these tests and we have these, you know, um, research and we have the proof. Here's the data anyway. <laughs> Don't necessarily have proof, do we? Um, 